Hi, friends. Friends, I know that many of you are wondering what details of the next stimulus package have been agreed on by lawmakers. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you an updated timeline for the next round of stimulus checks, as well as which states and cities have agreed to give out their own relief payments. Please make sure you watch until the end of this video to find out if you will be eligible. I will also be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week if you would like to enter these giveaways. Please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. Last week's winner was Faith Nakasone. Faith, please make sure you check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page to claim the gift card. One minute. Madam Speaker, consumer prices climbed another 1.3% last month, bringing the nation's total annual rate of inflation to 9.1%. The cost of making goods shot up too. The producer price index, index hit a whopping 11.3%. It's costing Tennesseans and American families an extra $5,000 a year. And there seems to be a growing consensus that we're heading toward a recession. I continue to believe that it didn't have to be this way. The Fed wouldn't have to raise interest rates uh, had President Biden and congressional Democrats resisted the urge to borrow and spend trillions and trillions of dollars we did not have and couldn't afford to spend. What their solution for getting us out of, what is their solution for getting us, this, getting us out of this mess? Even more spending but only increasing domestic production of our natural energy resources can get us back on track. President Biden appears to prefer the destruction of our country's fossil fuel in energy industry rather than using it to the bring the price of gasoline expired. and diesel back down. At the onset of the crisis, the American economy immediately fell into recession, with unemployment spiking to 14.8% the highest since records began in 1948. In response, the U.S. government passed a series of stimulus packages that, among other things, kept 11 million Americans out of poverty. While the immediate effects of the crisis are now in the rearview mirror, another threat to the economy has reared its head in 2022, and that is inflation, which has spiked to its highest levels in 40 years. To help combat the stress, this is putting on the finances of Americans. Some are calling for additional stimulus. Although overall, the American economy has been very strong over the past year. There are signs of weaknesses that have some federal legislators clamoring for more stimulus. If the U.S. economy is headed for a recession, as some economists fear, many Americans will be thrown right back into a world of economic uncertainty. Jared Bernstein, a member of the White House Council of Economic Advisors, admitted Sunday that inflation is unacceptably high, while also stressing that President Biden would not back down on climate change spending initiatives and does not see the country as headed towards a recession. Jared Bernstein claimed that Democrats are united on lowering the cost of prescription and health insurance premiums under the Affordable Care Act. Bernstein also stressed that the budget deficit is down $1.7 trillion this year, representing a 77% decline. But Republicans have noted that the U.S. is coming off enormous crisis-era spending to keep the economy afloat. Bernstein has also pointed to what he described as the strength of the U.S. labor market, noting that 9 million jobs have been added to the economy since Biden took office. So friends, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that President Biden is doing a good job at handling this crisis? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Several states and cities have created new stimulus bills that will provide the residents with additional financial aid throughout this crisis. Colorado Governor Jared Polis signed Senate Bill 233, which will send state taxpayers at least $500 by September. An individual filer is qualified to receive a minimum of $500, while joint filers are eligible to receive a minimum of $1,000. The new law is expected to refund up to 85% of excess state revenue that was collected last year. Governor Paulus said, We are helping Coloradans deal with inflation 
by getting people back their hard-earned money this summer. We are providing immediate relief for hard-working Coloradans by sending rebate checks back quickly because there's no reason the government should hold on to your hard-earned money any longer than it has to. The governor also added that more than 3 million state residents will be in line to receive money directly in the mail in August or September. The refund is only available for full-time residents who filed their 2021 tax returns by June 30th, 2022. For those who file after that date, but extended the filing deadline of October 17th, you will receive the payment in January 2023. In New Mexico, it was reported that as many as three direct payments are on the way to help out state residents. For the first round, taxpayers who filed individually are in line to receive $250, and those who filed jointly will receive $500. The state of New Mexico has started processing tax rebates last week, but this is just one round of economic relief payments. Some New Mexico residents will be able to claim three of these checks. Just last week, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer sent a letter to leaders in the legislature proposing the Michigan Tax Rebate Right Now plan, which includes a one-time direct payment of $500. Friends, the key word for this video is Grand Rapids. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, Please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Grand Rapids and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Remember friends that the more keyword, remember friends that the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. Governor Whitmer said in an official statement, let's take advantage of our additional revenue to put money in people's pockets and deliver real relief right now. Michiganders are counting on us to work together to provide real relief right now so they can pay the bills and put food on the table. Well, my amazing and fabulous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you once again for joining me here this Sunday. I truly appreciate all of you who are watching or listening to my videos. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Sunday.